this is Whistle. This was the first um, the first novel to come to our archives. It came before you did, and that was oh, that's right. You. My editor put and, um, that stack together mm -hmm. for you, and I read it, and I was like, oh, wow. First I read it, I was like, I can't read this. This is going to be so. I know what's going to happen, and then why? Well, I didn't have a clue what was going to happen. This is Excuse very. Me. This is very interesting. And there, that was just a fun, 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 fun thing. I mean, I couldn't have had more fun if I'd been reading a very, very interesting book. I couldn't have had more fun. I had more fun reading than anything. That's why I use that as a comparison. Um, our analogy uh, was, so, was just such fun to do, having an idea for a story and just seeing it where it would carry me, discovering it as it went, and, and finding all the little twists and turns I'm trying not to. I'm trying to quit that the twist twist thing in mm -hmm. my writing because although I don't I don't know if I'm going to quit because that's why I have fun because I can maybe I should be writing mysteries I did not know <laughs> but I know that I like this is when you retire you can you can uh, write mysteries I love surprising myself mm -hmm. I love drawing myself into the story and drawing you in also through the senses and then surprising myself finding a new something new happening. And giving these people something to go on. But hey, given since she started giving hers more money so they can go shopping. <laughs> but I'm giving mine more and more freedom to find something and gain some control mm -hmm. in the world. <laughs> yeah, but isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, if you think back about, if you think back, we all think sort of visually through television sometimes in movies. If you think back, the the surprise and the twist is sort of the currency of this time in terms of creativity. That, that excites people now. And yeah, I think of that more as entertainment than art. And you know, yeah, that's true. I wouldn't keep writing if I didn't think I was going to write a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. And I'm probably never will in my life. I mean, I'm not going to write it, but it at the does, same time, it does, it does both though. It entertains, it surprises. Yeah, but then and I want that it, to it delights that. I want to too. Over. And that's yeah. the art part. Yeah, the delight. Oh, I think that I've been just very fortunate to even be. Uh, considered as an artist. I think I am an entertaining writer. I'm certainly an entertaining writer. But um, I fall somewhere, the way I see myself at this point, that could change tomorrow, but I see myself kind of in between. And that's, I don't. No, I, I, I see you as, you're definitely writing literature. You're definitely writing literature. But whenever I was consuming Faulkner Hole, my favorite parts were the the, the characters that were that wry voice of humor, yeah, that would yeah. be stuck, that that were necessarily stuck in there, that that kept you going through the poems, yes. and, and through all the the misery and the the sublime and the misery. Well, that's what life's about. Is <laughs> that's what we, we want to laugh, mm -hmm. we want to, and that's where storytelling came from. Is telling stories and entertaining. And, and forget the art. You can't think of it as art and make it come out as art anyway. That's true. Yeah. You're too self-conscious. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But you've got to have, if you, you know, the art comes from working with words, the arrangement of words, painting with words. I guess as a Southern writer, whatever that means these days, I'll ask you about Whistle in terms of race. To yeah. me, this was, to me it was such a, I loved it because it went out of, I, as a southerner, I'm just, I'm sick of it. I'm heartily sick of race, race yeah. problems everywhere. And so I came in and, and this, the setup is such that this black man, everything is going to, seems to be forcing him into a direction to make a mistake that's going to bring just typical, stereotypical hell down on his head. And he goes yes. somewhere else, somewhere that almost that caused me to smile and you know just to smile with delight I guess as a southerner experiencing experiencing a tale about race that was very southern even in its twists and, and turns and uh, what about that were you aware of well, that did you yeah and uh, there again I had no expectations for whistle beyond telling this very ironic tale 
about a man and this black man who is afraid that he's going to be accused of uh, killing a white woman. And actually basing this on, on somebody who I knew, and on my situation at that time, the woman who gets killed. Oh, uh, <laughs> I just had to kill myself. That and that, that came from absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that, that lady who walks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually did that because people were always saying, do you ever write about yourself? Do you ever, you know. And this, and this just said, I don't know why people ask that anyway. And I would say no, so I thought, okay, I'll just kill myself. Nobody on <laughs> page 43. <laughs> <laughs> and so I never even have a word to say. Here's my stickers. <laughs> <laughs> but it, what, a fun, what a fun novel to discover where Roper's going to go with that body, what he's going to do with that body. He's, gonna, he's afraid he's going to be accused of killing the white woman or even... If he speaks to a white woman, he's got because he's just gotten out of drug, out of jail for drugs, mm -hmm. and so he's trying to be a very good boy, mm -hmm. and he's just not. He's, he's just having a hard time. The and wrong thing, <laughs> <laughs> and things keep piling up on him. And I like mm -hmm. to do that. I like to pile things on top of my characters and let them dig out. Uh -huh. You know, see uh -huh. if I can dig out. Let them yeah. dig out. Yeah, I like uh -huh. to dig it out. I like it's the pain. They, 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 they <laughs> most of the time they can dig out, and it's, yeah. it's a happy. And those are the people that I care about. I want the kind of people who will physically dig out too. Mm -hmm. You know, that have to, uh, they have to be strong enough to fall off the ladder and climb back up as many times as it takes to do what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. and it's very important to me. Those characters are. I'm not very interested in people who are just shoving in models. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or even going psychiatrists. <laughs> uh.